silence, you children of gods, and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth, nor sky, no grass, nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir cruelly killed, yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made, the world you walk and war. Lucid, friend. My sword is called greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Oh, no drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. I can't. I have it sent you for your father. Oh, what a piece. That must be worth two sturdy longships. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Work a Seder works through my hammer. <laughs> his name in runes on the outer band. You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You're just like your father, little berserker. Skull to you. Skull! You see? She agrees. the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes? Can we show Sigurd the can stones we sat yesterday? That's a good idea. That's in the morning. First light.
have a gift to deliver. Abel, wait. Skull! To Skull The true king of Burgafolga! Tonight, we are all made anew! Skull! Abel, ah. Abel. King. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in the Hall of Kings. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. Oh, then speed I forth will bring. The brave men slain, Valkyria waits. Rewards for strain to our battle takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. For those who fight! You, Faber. Not just yet. Die a coward here before the people, and I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Aaron! Take up your axe! <laughs>
long have you been chasing me, Wolf Kissed? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> You remember this? Oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. The scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of his crew. Make them suffer. Abel Wolfkiss is no more. That name is dead to this world. You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> To the ship. You move, and I take your eyes. You hear me? Winds blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Piotr tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davald's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You, lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice... Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Ergi. Test this! I will sell you to hell herself! Be a wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit!
should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course. You have the court, Wolf Kistra, even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Another old car came after it. Jack, Braggy, grab your oars. The railroad leads us home. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A 
cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. 